Hi, this is I'm I'm John Hinch, the man from the Clam Omnibus, and this is my Mark II Warjack. I, I did it previously with a come along, but I decided that was actually too dangerous because I was underneath this lot, and if something failed, it could have been bad. So this time, I have a powered winch, um, sixty dollars or sixty-five dollars plus tax from Harbour Freight. Anyway, I'm going to show you the bits in a minute. Okay, so here we have a 12 volt car battery from Sir Max, uh, plenty of power in there. Here we have a $65 plus tax marine winch Harbour Freight, um, well within the weight limit, it's £2,000. We have an anchor for Walmart, um, $7 for a packet of six, I think, and that's a £1,200 wall weight. We have snap eyes from Harbour Freight, we have um, a 6x2 frame. Um, it's on hinges, which is quite important. It's braced at the back, which is also very important. It's a bit of a brace up there, and it's pretty high. And I put that little piece of wood just in there, which actually is roughly the point at which the wall is vertical, so it won't go over the top and fall down the other side, which would be bad. Um, anyway, um, this Harbour Freight winch is pretty cool because it's got a remote control, so I can stand well back, um, just in case it all breaks. I won't be hurt by it, I'll just go, huh, huh, that was a bummer. Anyway, I'll just prep up now. Okay. That's there, that's there. I'm gonna use um, a little S-clamp. That bad boy on there, nice and strong. And a little S-clamp and onto the chain which I had earlier. A bit more tension. Well, there's the uh, top with the uh, little notch of thing and where the pulley is through a nice piece of bar and it's a decent pulley and it's a good one that I can actually take the centre pin out so I can load the cable over the top. It's rated 650 pounds. This is probably near a 400. Um, I can lift half of this myself quite easily, so it's got to be about 400 pounds. Um, anyway, I'm now going to do the actual lift. So I'll speed this up because you'll find it boring otherwise. dodgy part of the lift. You'll, you'll note that this particular building has, is going to have a concrete floor with the heating in it so it's actually got a separate plate all around the wall um, of treated wood which is going to be where the concrete for the uh, heated floor is going to come to. So the actual pivot point is very simple. I haven't had to nail the timber into the deck. It's just sitting against that. So just like point that out. This is the most dodgy point because at this point I have to um, release the actual A-frame and let it go forward onto the, uh, the wall I'm lifting. So um, I will be very careful doing this and then I'll step one away and the job. I'm taking the tension out of it. There she goes! Well, now I'm going to do the uh, final lift, we'll stand well away, and I'm going to let electricity do the talking, here we go. I'll speed this up because it'll be boring. Now, at this point I'm a bit bored myself and I know most of the weight is on the bottom so I should be able to just do this by hand, so wish me luck. Well, it's good to have that chuck all at the top. Make sure I've got the center. Lie down the other side. Oh, the piece of wood. Excellent news. Excellent news. Now, it's about an inch and a half short of where it should be, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, a gentle persuader, note the block of wood to protect the actual water, and I'm going to pass this bad boy along. Thank you. Inch to go. Uh, about 
corner you could go, a couple more blows should do it. Uh, we'll call that good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to undo the hinges and I'm going to slip, slide the uh, A-frame slightly forward uh, to make sure the wall is going to be vertical. We'll end up with the other one. Put screw a couple of screws back in just in case it moves because safety first it shouldn't do. But the last thing I want to do is have to dodge it suddenly when I'm up a ladder or have the whole thing fall over. <laughs> got to be safe, got to be safe. It can be crazy, but you've got to be safe. Okay.